It was a surprise to us. I heard it listening to the radio and the announcement came through. Once we got to work, it was all everyone was talking about and then we got um, an announcement from our chief executive. We got an email um, letting us know that that's what was happening. But everyone was so confused about what that actually meant for the staff and, um, and what was going to happen to the actual hospital. We were very concerned about the population that we served because um, the demographics in the Illawarra are very different to those in the urban areas in metropolitan Sydney. So we actually wanted to, to have some clarity in the whole process and we had none. We needed to move really quickly. We had no idea what the government was planning on doing. We started a Save Shell Harbour and Port Kembla page so that we could get the members on board but also we asked them all to share it with all of their friends and family as well so that we could try and grow that. And it um, continually grew throughout the whole entire campaign. Our local radio station had a um, Your Say segment in the mornings and so in, every morning we were calling up and, and trying to get the word out there that we've got a rally coming up and this is what's happening. In the seven weeks since this has been announced, we have had no word from the Health Minister except to say we are not privatising. Well people, if we're not privatising and the Premier, the Health Minister and Mr Ward have said if things go wrong we can buy the hospital back. Who are we buying it back from? We as a community must stand firm. We must stand strong and we must fight back. We had the news media and print media on board, so every time we had something coming up, we would let them know. The community forum was just uh, an incredible experience and people were very fired up, people were very motivated. They heard the message, they understood it, and they were prepared to stand by our side. It was that constant conversation all the time. Everyone we met, we were having a conversation about, have you heard about, do you know this is going on? We were really strong on signatures because we were trying to get them heard debated on the floor of Parliament. The only way a private operator could turn a profit of public patients is by cutting corners, increasing the workloads of nurses, slashing nurse-patient ratios and compromising on the quality of our health care. Effectively putting profits over patients and risking the security, the safety and the working conditions of all of our hospital staff. What I'm actually considering at the moment is, is there any way that we can uh, effectively value add. Hurry up and get this thing done. Whatever decision you make, whatever decision you make, whatever decision you make, I want to see the facts, I want to see the evidence, and I think it's high time that this debate was brought to a close. At this point of the campaign, we've got our unions all combined and working together, and then we've joined up with the community activist group. So it became a really strong campaign at that point. Politics in the pub was really great, that was really exciting. I think that was an important turn of events to take something down to Kayama. Whose brainchild is this? Why is this even a consideration? Those moments were really key moments in the whole process when, when the community really shows a politician that they are on very shaky grounds. The media support that we got, because we got quite a lot, and the support of the association, the unions combined, the politicians, all of that enhance everything that we wanted to do. On the day of the actual announcement, Nadia had me on speakerphone at the time that um, our chief executive was announcing. And then all of a sudden I just heard screaming and yelling and you could just hear the whole entire room erupt. People embracing, hugging, it was just a, a, a really fantastic experience to see the cohesion, the happiness, the, the elation really. I still get goosebumps thinking about it now, it was absolutely amazing. I just looked up, I turned around and looked at my son and just said, oh my God, we've won. It's so amazing. Although it was a, a small group of people, um, I think the cohesion uh, and the clarity of our purpose just uh, took us through. But it was an amazing feeling of, of relief and, and being able to celebrate with the community members and all of the unions coming together and having a massive celebration was fantastic.